Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You know what time it is. It is speaking universally. We recap everything from this week's Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live and then go over so much more. Where we're going to have a bonus match take place in this episode of Speaking Universally. As um, we, we, we will be having um, Austin Dynamite take on Johnny Evil in a house show match from this past weekend. So make sure you guys stay tuned there for that bonus match that will, that will be commentated live by me. As I was there for the matchup and you guys will see me commentate over it. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that for the end of Speaking University. And don't miss Speaking University because you might get a bonus match or two um, from the brands. You know, you may see a little inner brand warfare at these house shows that are going on throughout the week. But listen, we're not here for the talking about no house shows. We're here to talk about um, the Feck West trade and Austin Dynamite and so much more, guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned for this episode. Starting things off with the Feck West trade. You guys don't know the Feck West saga ended this past week on SmackDown Live with Shane McMahon announcing that he will be trading Feck West to Monday Night Raw. But for who? We had no idea. Well, the results are here uh, live in my notes as the Shane McMahon has given me the results of the trade and who is going where. So, Feck West is being traded four. So SmackDown Live is sending Feck West, Randy Orton, Sheldon Benjamin, Sami Zayn, Pete Dunne, No Way Jose, Gabriel Yamatatu, and Orny Lorcan for, this is the Monday Night Raw superstar that SmackDown Live are getting, Bobby Lashley, Braun Strowman, Zack Ryder, El Diablo, Charlotte Flair, and the Miss. These are all the men and women that are being traded in the Feck West deal. So Raw gets Feck, Orton, Benjamin, Zayn, Dunn, No Way Jose, Gabriel Yamatato, and Only Lorcan. While SmackDown Live will receive Bobby Lashley, Braun. Sh- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. And, I'm sorry. Wrong. Scratch that. Um, Only Lorcan. Sorry, SmackDown Live will get will Raw will also be getting Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley is going to Raw, while SmackDown Live will receive Braun Strowman, Zack Ryder, El Diablo, and Charlotte Flair and The Miz. I'm sorry, I got that kind of mixed up in my notes, but yeah, Lashley's going to Raw. I'm sorry about that. So you can see a lot of superstars are switching place in the middle of the road to WrestleMania, and some of those superstars will make their debut. On Monday Night Raw with Randy Orton taking on Sheamus in a United States Championship number one contenders for that eight-man ladder match at WrestleMania. The Bobby Roode Gloria Special. And then Pete Dunne and Gabriel Yamatata will face each other for the first time ever in this series on Monday Night Raw as well. And I believe we also have Shelton Benjamin taking on the prize fighter Kevin Owens one on one um on Monday Night Raw as Benjamin is looking to pick up a big victory over the European champion this week on Raw. So the day the debuts are gonna be happening on Monday Night Raw for a lot of superstars that were traded in the Feck West saga. And uh, speaking of Feck West himself, he will be making his debut in the Million Dollar Corporation as him and Cody Phillip will team up to take on Nightwolf and Nightwolf Jr. in a explosive tag team match. Feck West manager Mac Yum, um had went back and forth with um Nightwolf manager Night Rider Games in the in the chat of SmackDown Live from this past week saying that if saying that if Feck was traded to Monday Night Raw he will get a swift beating while Feck said it will be too easy. Well looks like the Raw General Manager the Rock has heard Mr F- Mr. West's request and Feck will will take on Night Wolf and Night Wolf Jr. the father and son duo on Monday Night Raw. As the Rock said this will be um, a test for Samuel Lewis's group, the Demonatics, as Samuel Lewis will take on The Rock at WrestleMania 
um, for The Rock's job on Monday night. Well, some massive matches in store for Monday Night Raw. In my opinion, it looks like both brands got what they needed in needed for trade wise. Charlotte Flair's going to SmackDown Live again. Charlotte Flair was a two time SmackDown Live women's champion. Um she pretty much never won the Raw Women's Championship like she did a couple like you know, she did back in two K seventeen when she was on Monday Night Raw. But she had some classics on Raw, but now Miss Charlotte Flair is heading back to SmackDown Live again. The Miz never really fit on Sm on SmackDown Live in this in this era of WWE. He was great back in the day, being the WWE Champion and Intercontinental Champion, but just never fit over there. He's going back home to Monday Night Raw. Um, El Diablo, he's a new superstar, going probably going to be a cruiserweight for SmackDown Live. So SmackDown Live got what they needed there. Braun Strowman, we heard that he wanted to join. Um, the BC and um, and Brian Angel's group. So I had to figure that he was probably going to be traded. So it's going to be interesting to see how he gets involved with that Triple H saga over there on on SmackDown Live. Zack Ryder. Um, Zack Ryder really never really did anything on Monday Night Raw. So it's good to see him going back home to SmackDown where he was a United States champion at one point. When SmackDown had the U.S. title on their brand. So we'll so we'll see how everything pans out for the trades. Randy Orton back on Raw. He was successful. World Heavyweight Champion on Raw. Um, Shun Benjamin. He was successful before he left WWE on Raw. Sami Zayn. You know, Sami Zayn has never been on Monday Night Raw. So it's gonna be this is his first time on Monday Night Raw in this series. So we'll see how Sami Zayn does on Raw. Pete Dunn first time on Raw. No Way Jose has never been on Raw as well. Gabriel, his he's making his first this is his first match period in the WWE will take place on Raw. Oni Lorcan, he was always a, he was he was a SmackDown Live guy when he made his debut. And Bobby Lashley, whenever he was in WWE, was not on Monday Night Raw. So a lot of these guys. This is their first time on the red brand, so we'll see how they adjust to being on Monday Night Raw and fighting on Monday nights now. And the European Championship, United States Championship, and even the Universal Championship is getting a lot more competition now since these trades. So it's going to be interesting to see how the champions hold out for the next couple weeks and specifically going after Wrestle. Mania, so massive news there. Congratulations, the fact he got um um he, he, congrat, congrat I'm sorry, congratulations to Feck West. Um, he got um, you know, you know he got what he wanted, and we'll see how everything goes with him on running that raw. And as for the news, John Cena, the C Nation leader. Will be on Monday Night Raw this week as he will be trying to qualify for the United States Championship ladder match at WrestleMania. Right now, John Cena does not have a match on the WrestleMania card and he's looking to change that with a victory over the man that was just recently traded, The Miz. The winner of this match will, will head into that eight man ladder match for Bobby Roode. Right now, Bobby Roode only has one man confirmed for that ladder match and that is Drew. McIntyre. We'll see who else will um head into that a ladder match for the United States Championship. Oh, Mac, I'm sorry, McIntyre and EC3 are um confirmed as the only guys that are are confirmed for that ladder match. We'll see who else going to be joining them as two more superstars will qualify this week on Monday Night Raw. As for other news, Kyrie Zayn will be in the building. This week to address Becky Lynch's comments from last week saying that Becky Lynch said saying that it is an honor to fight the Pirate Princess at WrestleMania. Right now the saga with, with Kyrie Zayn is Bianca Belair. We don't know what's going to be happening with Bianca Belair after Bianca Belair almost cost Kyrie Zayn her matchup last week. On Monday Night Raw against Piper Wolf, as as Bianca says, she wanted to make a statement to make sure she gets into that Raw Women's Championship match at WrestleMania. So I don't know what's gonna be happening. I don't know what's on Kyrie Zayn's mind neither. It'll be interesting to see how how the Pirate Princess reacts to those comments. But Zayn talks about Mania and potentially Bianca Belair this week. On Monday Night Raw, does Bianca Belair get to surge in the matchup uh, at WrestleMania, or does pretty much Kyrie Zayn says I'm going to minimize her, like 
She could have done it like she could have done in the May, like she like she did in the May Young Classic and beat her in a one on one match to shut her up for good on the road to WrestleMania. Well, we'll find out when Kyrie Zane is in the building in Memphis, Tennessee, live this week for Raw coming up. And then, and then finally, ladies and gentlemen, your main event of the evening for Monday Night Raw, one of the biggest highlights of the show. This is your main event of the evening. It's going to be Tyler Phillip taking on K.J. Jones. K.J. Jones last week got a massive victory over Tommaso Ciampa um, as Ciampa was looking to prove that he deserves to be in the Universal Championship match. And KJ got a victory over him. After the match, Ciampa was visibly so frustrated and tried to attack attack KJ Jones from behind, um, which which failed as KJ stood tall and close lined him from outside of the ring. Now KJ moving on to the man that will take on Kevin Owens for the European Championship at WrestleMania, Tyler Phillip. As Tyler Phillip was talking trash to KJ, saying that KJ Jones does not deserve to be in one of Raw's biggest main events for the show. Well, KJ wants to shut Tyler Phillip up this week on Monday Night Raw and they will do battle in our main event evening, Phillip versus Jones. We'll see if KJ can continue his win streak along the road to WrestleMania. That's pretty much everything for Monday Night Raw. As for SmackDown Live, Johnny Evil will hopefully get what he deserves. After attacking Rob Havoc, it has been confirmed it's going to be Evil versus Havoc one-on-one. Uh, and, it, and it will be a no disqualification match. Evil has gotten to the head of Havoc one time too many. He attacked him in the main event of SmackDown Live last week. Then the week before made his debut and 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 attacked him, um, and attacked him and cost him cost him the matchup against Johnny Gargano on SmackDown Live two two two, two weeks ago. Now he's finally, hopefully, going to get what he deserves, and that is, an, and that is a butt whooping uh, at the hands of Rob Havoc this week on SmackDown Live. Also, in your main event, Finn Balor will be back in action after Alistair Black could pretty much kick the head off of Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler looks to get back on the winning track as he will face the WWE Champion in our main event of the evening this week on SmackDown Live. It'll be interesting to see. How Alistair Black responds to Balor being back on the blue brand. Intercontinental Champion will be in action, as I said it before. SmackDown Tag Team Champions will be in action as well on the road to WrestleMania. We get a preview of what it could have been at WrestleMania as the Bludgeon Brothers will take on Sanity for the SmackDown, no, not for the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, live on SmackDown Live in a regular non title matchup. What could have been at WrestleMania between those two? Well, we'll find out when they collide this week on SmackDown Live. And that is pretty much it. We get a convoluted to the mess up mess with the United Kingdom Championship right now. We hope to find out what Adam Cole is going to do about his championship. Who he, who he is going to fight at WrestleMania, we will find that out as Adam Cole will announce his opponents for the United Kingdom Championship at WrestleMania this week on SmackDown Live. And finally, we will have a Cruiserweight Championship number one contenders matchup. Two of them, I might add, as Tony Nese will defend his Cruiserweight Championship in a triple threat ladder match at WrestleMania. We'll have we'll, we'll find out the two members, two men that will fight uh, Tony Nese at WrestleMania this week on SmackDown Live. But it's Jim, and I'm not gonna keep keep you keep you guys too much longer. I'm doing enough with the talking. Let's kick it over to um, Austin Dynamite. As before, before I kick it over, Austin Dynamite's um, firing has been changed to a two week suspension. He is suspended until WrestleMania, where his suspension. Will be lifted. So Brian Azul, Elizabeth Blade, his sister, and uh, Candy Vega and them, they will be on their own as no dynamite for the next two weeks. And he'll he will his suspension will be lifted 
at WrestleMania, which means Austin Dynamite, unfortunately, will not compete at WrestleMania. You, you can blame Vince McMahon for that one. As Shaman Man begged Vince not to fire him, just suspend him from two weeks. Don't have him compete at WrestleMania. And Vince obliged to that. As for did Vince McMahon escape? He did escape as Shane McMahon kind of figured that um, Asia and Dynamite would have been visibly peed off after the attack. And um, he got his father out of the building where they discussed it on the airplane ride back to Stanford, Connecticut on what to do with Austin Dynamite. Um, unfortunately, we will not get a closure to the Randy Orton situation uh, with uh, Asia and Dynamite. I was hoping that we get a Randy Orton versus Austin Dynamite matchup at WrestleMania after... Um, they cost him the match, but unfortunately, we will not get that since Randy Orton is now on Monday Night Raw. Ladies and gentlemen, Feck West is here live for Speaking Universally, and let's kick it over to him. As he, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, Austin Dynamite is here live from his house um, for Speaking Universally, and let's kick it over to him as Dynamite has some words for all of you, the WWE Universe. Ladies and gentlemen, Austin Dynamite here, and as you see, I'm standing here in a forest because this is what happens when Triple H doesn't pay you. This is what happens when you get suspended without pay. You lose money and you lose everything to support yourself. As you can see, the camera quality is not that good. That is why I am not moving. That is why I am not breathing in this recording. But I'm alive though. Because of the camera quality. That's what happens when you don't have enough. Luckily, WWE Manager's team took a picture of me before we started. And I'm ready. As for my suspension. Listen up. Triple H. Smackdown Live, when I come back, there will be hell to pay. Let's hope Shane McMahon is in charge and Triple H is gone. Then my quest to get gold around my waist begins. I have cut my hair because enough with the hair I had. I'm, uh, th that hair is gone simply because of what Triple H did to me. I won't forget, ha ha ha. Oh, trust me. I hope my brother, my brother for another mother, my brother for another father, Brian Azul, ends you at WrestleMania and do what I have always wanted to do. Beat the crap out of you. I hope you get a beating of a lifetime. Ha ha ha. Well, I can be ha 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 and myself at WrestleMania. Good luck, Triple H. I did what I did simply so you can suffer. I didn't want Azul to have me in the match, to be convoluted to go for the pin. It's hell in a cell. There's no escape for you, game. Nobody's going to help you because I'm going to make sure backstage no one gets involved. Austin. We'll be backstage in case one of your cronies want to come down and interrupt the match. That is not happening. The beatdown of a lifetime is happening for you game at WrestleMania. I may be suspended. I may be out of here. But trust me. When I come back, it's over. When I come back, everybody on SmackDown Live will fear my wrath. And the DPW takeover will continue. It's not. It's just not just me. It's Asia. It's Michael Wolf. It's Candy, and my own sister. You brainwashed her. You son of a her too. When she gets her mind right, there will be hell to pay for Bailey, and there will be hell to pay for Ronda. There will be hell to pay for anybody on the Backdown Live roster. 
let's just say this. DPW is the land of opportunity. It is the best company. It might not be as extravagant as WWE, but we made a name for ourselves. And you were the one that signed us. And now you're going to just take us away? I don't think so. That's not happening. School your flagship show. We can take over that when we feel like it. But while I'm booking Monday Night Raw, while, while you're booking Monday Night Raw and making your flagship show mean something, DPW, the remnants of that company, we will take over SmackDown Live and run it ourselves. We don't need you, Triple H. Shane McMahon knows indie wrestling. He was in there for 12 years. That's why he left WWE. He catered to us. And when you're gone, there's nobody that can get in our way. Because talent is talent. The fans love DPW. The fans love us. You can go back to scrawny old NXT. Yeah, I said it. The reason why NXT failed was because you were in control of it, Triple H. If you wasn't in control of it, it would still be up today. If Shane McMahon was back here three years ago, NXT would still be here. And I would be in it. But no, you were in control of NXT and that's why it failed. And it will fail again if you're in control. That's simple. Dynamite sign out. I'll see you, Triple H. And I'll see all of you, WWE Universe. At WrestleMania. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Velocity House Show. Live in Las Cruces, New Mexico. As we have one of the matches that took place in this house show will be aired on Speaking University. This is the matchup between Johnny Evil and Austin Dynamite. The following Johnny Evil making his way down to the ring. With that again with that Becky Lynch theme song again. Becky Lynch is is his idol that he uh that before he came to WWE he's a massive Becky Lynch fan. That's why he's, he's using her theme song. Evil has been the talk of the town recently on SmackDown Live with the attacks on Havoc and this week on SmackDown Live coming up. We'll take on Rob Havoc. One on one to settle the score between the two. The man from the foot is ready to go here. He'll be taking on the suspended Austin Dynamite, and this will be his last matchup before the suspension officially begins starting next week. And as you've seen earlier on, when Austin Dynamite shot and that his thing, his hair from Detroit, is cut. Michigan. Weighing in at 270 pounds, Austin Dynamite. Austin Dynamite cut his hair after what happened with Triple H and him and Vince McMahon suspending him. He said he cut that hair to remind him of all the things he went through on SmackDown Live from the past week was facing his own friend, a friend, a friend that he called his brother, Brian Azure, and was forced to lay down for him just so he can get rid of Triple H. A passionate guy, Austin Dynamite is, and this is going to be a very interesting matchup for Austin. His final match before we get into um, WrestleMania, where his suspension will be lifted after Mania. Good luck, Austin. Good luck, Evil. This should be a good one here. I've been the Velocity House Show from Las Cruces, New Mexico. Dynamite. Oh, oh, that pose and everything. He's ready to go here for this Velocity House Show. There will be some matches that you will see on Speaking University. But you guys don't miss an episode because you guys will get matches like this every other week. Well, we will air some things from house shows.
from different competitors fighting fighting each other. If you guys have any requests, let us know live on YouTube.com. That uh, on the YouTube channel Cold Train. Put in the comment section down below one of the universe more videos uh, who, you, who you would like to be requested to fight at one of these house shows, and we potentially may have to fight, and it, and it may be aired live on Speaking Universally. It's also dying to my in trouble here. Johnny Evil slams him down here with a power bomb. Well, got Austin in trouble, but Evil kicked out. A dynamite kicked out at one. Evil trying to prove prove that he's unstoppable and keep his keep his winning ways uh, alive. Here's dynamite in trouble. Oh, as Evil with an uppercut here to Austin Dynamite, and Evil's loving it so far. Evil off the ropes, a big kick to the face to Austin. Johnny Evil, oh, be interesting to see if Havoc might show up here tonight just to spite um, oh, Austin, uh, Johnny, Johnny Evil, but I wouldn't be surprised by that Austin with the power there to Johnny Evil. Now Johnny Evil, he's in trouble here, uh-oh, Austin Dynamite got him up again and slams him down. Hey, Austin Dynamite, his last match before WrestleMania, he's impressive in it. Dynamite takes him down. Uh-oh, look at that. That's Venture Stone Cold Steve Austin right there. And Evil has felt that one. Two men that was on the independent scene are taking on each other. Dynamite rolling through. Look at the power. Here's a power bomb to Johnny Evil. He got him not enough. As Johnny Evil gets the shoulder up barely at two. Evil counters big kick to the face. <laughs> Johnny Evil, he's so on fire in the crowd here, loving him. People say that Johnny Evil's a change of pace. He, he, people say Havoc's getting what he deserves with Johnny Evil. And Johnny Evil, help your cross bodies. Austin Dynamite, he got him. Austin Dynamite gets the shoulder up. Hey, evil is a evil is a change of pace. One of the most over guys in the independent scene before he came to WWE. Also, Dynamite using DPW. DPW success when Dynamite showed up on the brand. Both these men have talent and they're proving it tonight on this house show velocity. Big shot to the face there. Oh, God. That's Austin Dynamite. Drops the able, drives the knees in. To Austin. And now Connor won here by the referee. And now Dynamite back inside the ring. Evil got him off. That's the Dream Maker. Dream Maker. That, that Velveteen Dream does. But is that enough to put away Austin? Evil stunned at the outcome. Austin, oh, kick this kick in the midsection. And Evil's on fire. But Austin staying based here. Uh-oh, right for the big kick. Austin Connors. Big shot to the face there by Austin Dynamite. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. This is new? Austin Dynamite never takes nobody out to the outside like this. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Dynamite. 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 Oh, my God. Apron Powerbomb. Apron Powerbomb by Austin Dynamite. Holy crap! And now Dynamite has caught the arm of Evil with Arbor! Arbor locked in! Lost Cruces, New Mexico! Can't believe it! And oh my god, Evil tapped! But it doesn't count because it's not false count anywhere! And now look at this! Austin trying to hype up the crowd here! The crowd loving Austin Dynamite! Dynamite! Trying to wrap this up with the Dynamiter! The Dominator! No! Johnny Evil Connors! Evil Connors! And now Evil to the top rope! Reverse Moon So Cover! One! Two! Dynamite gets the shoulder off! And Johnny Abel, once again, can't believe it. 
And now Johnny Evil, Johnny Evil, drops the knees in. Cover, one, he beat Austin, down, oh, not enough. Austin gets the shoulder up at two. And now Johnny Evil, Connor with a neck breaker. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, this is Mr. Hold. They're coming his first victory. Locked in on Austin Dynamite. He grabbed his head. His head and neck is big back. I call this the evil miner. That's it. That is it right here. Austin Dynamite. Austin Dynamite is in trouble here. He's going to tap out. He's going to tap out here. Johnny Evil has got it locked in tight. Put Austin, oh my God, Austin. He gets out of it and trying to hype himself up. Evil say that's the best you can do. Evil say, come on, oh. Dynamite Connors, and here we go, here we go. Sails him down. WWE Universe on their feet, rock bottom, rock bottom, you gotta be kidding me, what a rock bottom, cover, and Evil gets the shoulder off, Evil gets the shoulder off, he kicked out a rock bottom, you could call it the, <laughs> the Austin bottom now, since the Rock is not competing. And Evil trying to get himself up to his feet. A oh, big play, big shot to the head. There by Austin Dynamite. And now uh, Austin, Austin caught his arm, caught his arm again. He worked on the outside. Oh my God, oh my God. Evil's in trouble. Evil knows he's got to get out of that. And he does. Evil, Evil, Evil. Oh my God, Evil. Rolling up, rolling up. Austin Donovan in trouble with Austin. This is showed up. Evil going for that kick again. You're not going to work it. Going for it multiple times on Donovan. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is Donovan doing? Donovan. Donovan. What that apron? DDT to Johnny Evil. Evil is done for. That's got to be it. Vince is KO with the KO pose. New Mexico is chilling like they haven't got wrestling in a long time. Wow, what a match. Not Dynamite. Going to the top row. What a big punch to the face that's gotta be it oh my god evil kicks on it too referee said it was a two kill and Austin Dynamite he can't believe it wow I mean he literally punched him in midair right to the face Crowd coming down a little bit here. There's a big shot there by Austin Dynamite trying to figure out what can he do to beat Johnny Evil here. Evil. Uh oh, in trouble. Big form smash to the face there by Austin Dynamite. Austin Dynamite has caught him. Superplex. What a superplex there to Johnny Evil. Cover here by Austin again. One, two, and that's not enough again. And Austin pleading with the referee saying, that's, that's, that's a three count. What Austin is not. Evil got the shoulder up in the nick of time. Evil, oh, back to the back of Austin. What a match. These two don't even know who, who, probably who each other are. I'm putting on a classic here at a house show. Could you imagine? Get these guys over on SmackDown. They'll kill it. 
Wow. And Johnny Evil, Johnny Evil, trying to get Austin Dynamite up on the ring apron. Oh, the Diamond Cutter, Diamond Cutter. The Austin Dynamite cover. That's gonna do it. Oh, oh my God. Austin Dynamite got the shoulder up at two and now Evil, Evil gonna drop it easy again. That's gotta be it. One, two. Oh, oh. oh my God. Oh my God. Evil speechless. He, you can see his face is like you're kidding me right oh sit side beautiful sit side cover and you can't be serious wow i can't believe the resilience of austin dynamite oh caught him with a suplex bridge rope break on austin dynamite austin dynamite austin dynamite austin dynamite Oh, driving him on his head! He's been looking for that Oh, match! Austin saying you won again! The crew and again! Here we go! Here we go! Are you ready? Are you ready? Austin gonna punch him now! Evil! Move that away! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's over! It's over! Be kidding me! You, 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 you can't be serious. How? How did he kick out of that? Even over that cutter again. Dynamite gets out of it. And oh, Ripper made the uppercut, but he missed him. Both men are down. Evil back up to his feet. And I able John and Tim to come back. Big shot to the face. Here we go. Evil kick up. What a fantastic match. Like I said, guys, if you want them on speaking universally, just come and look at the power. The power by Johnny Evil. Big shot to the Raven section. Did a kick and an in the face. And now Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Taking apart the announce table. Kind of four here by the referee. Evil. Oh my God, the mini dream maker. Count of six. Oh wait, evil, evil. No, I, I, I think evil's trying to, evil's trying to get himself counted out here. Evil's trying to hold Austin Dynamite so he can get himself counted, get him counted out. Count of three. He knows. Oh no! Oh no! Dynamite in trouble. Johnny Evil trying to take the cheeky way out here as he drives him up to the table. Good God! Austin's not getting up. Count of four. Got a referee. Austin has it moved. And Johnny Evil saw, oh my god, oh my god. Got a 
plus seven. Dynamite barely moving. He only taking over the end. Nine. He beats the count. Big fall on the face. Big shot in the face again. Austin. Austin. Going to seize. The exclamation point. But no. Uppercut. Johnny Evil. Oh. Oh my God. That's got to do it. Evil gets the victory. As the referee didn't see the rope break. Wow. Absolutely wow. I can't believe it. Evil won in controversial fashion. The referee didn't see the rope break. Dang it. But still. What a match. If you guys want to see more footage from these house shows that go down during the week, let me know in the comment section down below. And we'll add them on Speaking University. I've been your host, Coltrane. Good night, New Mexico, for the Velocity House Show.